This tutorial is about how you can add links, images, mathematical equations, tables, symbols, horizontal lines to enhance your course page. When you've created a new page in your course website, you may have just used some of the basic formatting. You can, however, add videos and images within the page to emphasize a point. Let's take a look. If it is a description box like this one, you can hover your mouse over it, click, and get started editing. If it is a full HTML page, you can go to that page, scroll down a bit, and then click on Edit HTML. Now we can add the image or the video. Use the second link over here to add an image. Once you click on it, you can drag and drop your image there to upload it to your site. Click on Add, and this alternative text provides a way for someone with visual impairment to be able to read what the image should be describing. If the image is purely decorative, select the checkbox. Once the image has been added, it will usually be too large. Click on the image and use the corner points here to drag and resize the image to an appropriate size. You may need to do this a few times. Once you are done placing the image, click Update. If you wish to add a video to your file, you can click the first icon and select a video from a variety of sources, or you can upload one from your computer. It is possible to include videos this way into your site, but a preferred way is actually to add a separate piece of video content, because then the video player controls are more prominent to the students. Please see our other video in the series on how to do this. The next thing to show is how to add mathematical text. Use the sigma icon over here, and you can click on one of these three options. The third option, to use LaTeX, is the preferred way. Now let's look at links. There are two types of links, links to internal resources and links to an external resource. A link to an internal resource requires you to select the text you want to hyperlink, and then use the third icon over here, Insert Quick Link. When you click that, you can then link to a prior piece of content you have already created. For example, here I am going to link to another page on my site. When you return out, that link is shown as a regular blue underlined hyperlink and will be available for students to click internally. A link to an external resource or website can be added in a similar way. Use the first icon for that, Insert Stuff. And halfway down there is an option to insert link. Type in the URL that you wish to link to, and then click Next. Provide some text, for example, go to this page. Preview your link and see that it shows as you intend, and then click Insert. That will create a link then to the external resource. When you are finished, click on Update. You can also add material in a table form. Use the table icon up here, select how many rows and columns you would like, and then you can start editing in that table. Initially it is very small, but it will grow as you type in the correct location. Use the Tab key and Shift tab to navigate to the prior and the next cell in the table. Some other elements you might wish to add are a horizontal line to divide the content. You can access that over here in this drop-down to insert a line. Another type of content you might wish to insert are special symbols. Use the Insert Symbol menu option. Click on the symbol that you desire, and then hit Create. So we have seen how to add videos, images, links to external and internal sites, mathematical equations, tables, dividing lines, as well as special characters. Use all of these to enhance your page for your students.